Chapter One of Ecclesiastes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Martin Giessen. The Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe translation. Revision of John Purvey, thirteen ninety five. Chapter One. The Words of Ecclesiastes, son of David, the King of Jerusalem. The vanity of vanities, sighed Ecclesiastes, the vanity of vanities, and all the things been vanity. What hath a man more of all his travail, be which he travaileth under the sun? generation passeth away and generation cometh but the earth stondeth with suit an end the sun ariseth and goeth down and turneth again to his place and there it riseth again and compasseth be the south and turneth again to the north the spirit compassing all things goeth in compass and turneth again into his circles all the floods enter into the sea and the sea fleteth not over the mark set of god the floods turnen again to the place from whence thou common forth that thou flow eft all things been hard a man may not declare those things be ward the ear is not filled be seeked neither the ear is filled be hearing what is that thing that was that that shall come what is that thing that is mad that that shall be mad no thing under the sun is now neither any man my sire lo this thing is now for no it yed before in worlds that weren before us meaned of the former things is not but sothly neither thinking of those things that shullen come afterward shall be at him that shullen come in the last team he ecclesiastes was king of israel in jerusalem and he purposed in me soul to seek and ensearch weasley of all the things that been mad under the sun god yaf this worst occupation to the sons of men that they shouldn't be occupied therein he seek all the things that been mad under the sun and lo all the things been vanity and torment of spirit why would men been amended of hard and the number of fallers is great with thought an end he spark in min heart and he sighed lo he am mad great and he passed in wisdom all the men that weren't before me in jerusalem and me soul seek many things weasley and he learned and he yaf min heart that he should knaw a prudence and doctrine and errors and folly and he knew that in these things also was travail and torment of spirit for in mich wisdom is mich indignation and he that increaseth cunning increaseth also travail end of chapter one Chapter Two of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe translation, revision of John Purvey, thirteen ninety five. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Giessen. Therefore, he sighed in Minhertus, 
he shall go and he shall flow in delices and he shall use goads and he seek also that this was vanity and liking he arretted error and decided to joy what art thou deceived in vain he thought in min heart to withdraw me flesh fro win that he should lead over me soul to wisdom and that he should eschew a folly till he should say what were profitable to the sons of men in which dead the number of dyes of her leaf under the sun is needful he magnified me works he builded houses to me and he planted venus he made yerdes and orchards and he set it though with the trees of alkinde and he made cisterns of watres for to water the wood of trees growing he had in possession servants and handmaids and he had mich mine and droves of great bestes and great flocks of sheep over all men that were before me in jerusalem he gathered together to me silver and gold and the castells of kings and of provinces he made to me singers and singeresses and delices of the sons of men and cuppers and vessels in service to held out weenes and he passed in riches all men that were before me in jerusalem also wisdom dwelleth stably with me and all things which mean ian desirden he denied not to him neither he refrained min heart that ne it used a lust and deleted itself in these things which he had a mad ready and he damned this me part if he used me travail and when he had turned me to all workers which me no hondes had in mad and to the travels in which he had a sweat in vain he seek in all things vanity and torment of the soul and that nothing under sun dwelleth stably he passed to behold a wisdom errors and folly he sighed what is a man that he may sue the king his marker and he seek that wisdom yed so much before folly as much as licht is diverse fro darknesses the eon of a wise man ben in his head a fool goeth in darknesses and he learned that all perishing was of ever either and he sighed in min heart if all death shall be both of the fool and of me what profit is it to me that he hath more business to wisdom and he spake with me soul and he perceived that this also was vanity for mind of a wise man shall not be in like manner as neither of a fool without an end and teams to coming shullen heal all things together with forgetting a learned man dieth in like manner and an unlearned man and therefore it annoyed me of me leaf saying that all things under sun ben evil and that all things ben vanity and torment of the spirit eft he cursed all me business be which he travelled most studiously under sun and he shall have an heir after me whom he knoweth not whether he shall be wees either of fool and he shall be lord in me travels for which he swat greatly and was busy and is any thing so fine 
wherefore he said and min herte forsook for to travel further under sun for we one another man traveleth in wisdom and teaching and busyness he leveth things getten to an idle man and therefore this is vanity and great evil for we what shall it profit to a man of all his travail and torment of spirit be which he was tormented under sun all his dies been full of sorrows and mischiefs and beneath he resteth not in soul and whether this is not vanity whether it is not better to eat and drink and to show to his soul a goddess of his travails and this thing is of the hond of god who shall devour us so and shall flow in delices as he did god yaf wisdom and cunning and gladness to a good man in his seed but he yaf torment and superflu busyness to a sinner that he increase and gathereth to gidre and yif to him that pleaseth god but also this is vanity and vain busyness of soul End of chapter two Chapter three of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation Revision of John Purvey thirteen ninety five this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Giessen. Alle things han time, and alle things under sun passen be her spaces. Time of birth, and time of dying, time to plant, and time to draw up that that is planted, time to slay and tima to make a hole, tima to destroy, and tima to build, tima to web, and tima to lie, tima to be wild, and tima to dance, tima to scatter stones, and tima to gather to kidder, tima to call, and tima to be fair for calling us tima to win and tima to lese tima to keep and tima to cast away tima to kit and tima to sew to kidder tima to be still and tima to speak tima of love and tima of hatred tima of battle and tima of pace what hath a man more of his travail? He seek the torment which God yaf to the sonnes of men, that thy be occupied therein. God mad alle things good in her team, and yaf the world to disputing of them, that a man finde not the work which God hath wrought fro the beginning till into the end and he knew that no thing was better to a man no but to be glad and to do good works in his leaf for he each man that eateth and drinketh and saith good of his travail this is the gift of god he have learned that all works which god made lasten steadfastly till in to without an end we mun not add anything to thou neither talk away fro those things which god made that he be dread that thing that is mad dwelleth perfectly those things that shullen come weren before and god restoreth that that is gone 
is sich und der sonne unfeistfulness in the plus of dom and wickedness in the plus of richtfulness and he sighed in min heart the lord shall dem a just man and an unfaithful man and the team of each thing shall be than he sighed in min heart of the sonnes of men that god should preven and show that they ben lik unreasonable bestes therefore own is the perishing of man and of bestes and even a condition is of ever either as a man dieth so and the bestes dien alle bestes brethren in lik manner and a man hath nothing more than a best alle things been subject to vanity and alle things goen to all plus though been mad of earth and though turnen again to gidre into earth hawk knoweth if the spirit of the sonnes of adam steeth upward and if the spirit of best goeth downward and he perceived that nothing is better than that a man be glad in his work and that this be his part for who shall bring him that he knoweth things that shullen come after him End of chapter three Chapter four of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation Revision of John Purvey thirteen ninety five This Librivox recording is in the public domain Recording by Martin Geeson he turned me to other things and he seek false challenges that been done under the sun and the terrors of innocence and no man comfortor and that thy forsaken of the help of all men mu not again stand the violence of him and he prized more dead men than living men and he damned him that was not born yet and seek not the evils that been done under the sun to be blissfuler than ever either eft he beheld all the travails of men and businesses and he perceived that thou ben open to the envy of neighbour and therefore in this is vanity and superflu business a fall foldeth together his hondes and eateth his fleishes and saith better is an hondful with rest than ever either hondful with travail and torment of soul he beheld and found also another vanity under the sun own is and he hath not a second not a son not a brother and nevertheless he ceaseth not for to travel neither his e'en been filled with riches neither he bethinketh and saith to home travel i and deceive me soul in goods in this also is vanity and the worst torment therefore it is better that twine be to gidra than own for thy han profit of her fellowship if own falleth doon he shall be under set of the tudre woe to him that is alone for when he falleth he has none rising him and if twain slepen they shullen be nourished to gidre who shall own be mad hot and if ony man hath maestri a yens own twain a yens stond on him a threefold cord is broken off hard 
a poor man and wees is better than an eld king and fool that cannot be for a saying to team to coming for some team a man goeth out both fro prison and chines to a realm and another born into a realm is wasted be neediness i see all men living that goen under the sun with the second young waxing man that shall rise for him the number of people of all that weren before him is great withouten mesure and they that shullen come afterward shullen not be glad in him but also this is vanity and torment of the spirit thou that enterest into the house of god keep thee foot and nigh thou for to hear for we much better is obedience than the sacrifices of fools that wit not what evil they do speak thou not any thing foolily neither the inherit be swift to bring forth a word before a god for god is in heaven and thou art on earth therefore the words be few dream soon many businesses and folly shall be funden in many words if thou hast avoid anything to god tarry thou not to yield for an unfaithful and fond behest displeaseth him but yield thou whatever thing thou hast avoid and it is much better to mark not a vow than after a vow to yield a not behestes if thou not the mouth that thou mark the flesh to do sin neither sayest thou before an angel no poor viands is lest peraventure the lord bear wrath on the words and destroy all the works of the hondes where ben many dreams ben full many vanities and words without number but dread thou god if thou sayest false challenges of needy men and violent domes and that richtfulness is destroyed in the province wonder thou not on this doing for another is here than an he man and also other men ben more he above these men and furthermore the king of all earth commandes to the servant end of chapter four Chapter Five of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation, Revision of John Purvey, thirteen ninety five. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Giessen. An averus man shall not be filled of money and he that loveth riches shall not take fruchtes of thou and therefore this is vanity where ben many riches also many men ben that eaten thou and what profit is it to the haldre no but that he saith riches with his e'en sleep is sweat to him that watcheth whether he eateth little either much but the fullness of a rich man suffereth not him to sleep also another sickness is full evil which he seeth under the sun riches has been kept into the evil of her lord for thy perishing in the worst torment 
he gendered a son that shall be in sovereignness as he yed naked out of his mother's womb so he shall turn again and he shall talk away with him nothing of his travail utterly it is a wretched sickness as he come so he shall turn again what therefore profited it to him that he travailed into the wind in all the dyes of his leaf he ate in darknesses and in many businesses and in neediness and sorrow therefore this seemed good to me that a man ate and drink and use gladness of his travail in which he travailed under the sun in the number of dyes of his leaf which god yaf to him and this is his part and to each man to whom god yaf riches and cattle and yaf poor to him to eat of tho and to use his part and to be glad of his travail this is the gift of god for he shall not be thank meech on the dyes of his leaf for god occupeth his herd with delices End of chapter 5chapter six of the book of ecclesiastes in the wycliffe translation revision of john purvey thirteen ninety five this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by martin geeson also another evil is which he seek under the sun and certes it is oft used anent as men a man is to whom god yaf riches and cattle and honour and no thing fileth to his soul of all things which he desireth and god giveth not power to him that he eat thereof but a strange man shall devour it this is vanity and a great wretchedness if a man gendereth an hundred fre sunnes and liveth many years and hath many dyes of age and his soul useth not the goods of his cattle and wanteth burying i pronounce of this man that a dead born child is better than he for he cometh in vain and goeth to darknesses and his name shall be done away be forgetting he seek not the sun neither knew diversity of good and of evil also though he liveth twice thousand years and useth not goods whether all things hast not to all plus all the travail of a man is in his mouth but the soul of him shall not be filled with goods what hath a wise man more than a fool and what hath a poor man no but that he go thither where is leaf it is better to say that that thou covetest than to desir that that thou knowest not but also this is vanity and presumption of spirit the nam of him that shall come is clepped no and it is known that he is a man and he may not strive in dome against a stronger than himself word has been full money and han mich vanity in disputing what need is it to a man to seek greater things than himself sithen he knoweth not what shall befall to him in his leaf 
in the number of dyes of his pilgrimage, and in the team that passeth as chateau. Either home I show to him what thing under sun shall come after him. End of chapter 6「Chapter Seven of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation, Revision of John Purvey, thirteen ninety five. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Geeson. A good nam is better than precious ornamentus, and the dye of death is better than the dye of birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to the house of a feast, for in that house of mourning the end of all men is monested, and a man living thanketh what is to coming. Ear is better than liking, for the soul of a trespasser is amended by the heaviness of chair. The hurt of wees men is where sorrow is, and the hurt of falls is where gladness is. It is better to bear a brevet of a wees man than to bear decided by the flattering of falls. For as the soon of thorness brending under a pot, so is the liking of a fool. But also this is vanity. False challenge disturbeth a wise man, and it shall laze the strength of his heart. For so the end of prayer is better than the beginning. A patient man is better than a prude man. They do not swift to be wroth, for ear resteth in the bosom of a foal. Say thou not, what guessest thou is of cause that the former teemus were on better than be no, for we such axing is fond. For so wisdom with richesses is more profitable, and profiteth more to men saying the sun. For as wisdom defendeth, so money defendeth. But learning and wisdom hath this more, that though even leaf to her welder. Behold thou the workers of God, that no man may amend him whom God hath despised. In a good die use thou goodes, and before a show thou an evil die. For God might so this die as that die, that a man find not just plinings against him. Also, he seek these things in the dyes of my nativity. A just man perisheth in his richtfulness, and a wicked man liveth mich team in his malice. Nil thou be just mich, neither understand thou more than is needful, lest thou be astonied. Do thou not wickedly meet, and kneeleth obey a fool, lest thou dee in a team not thine. It is good that thou sustain a just man, but also withdraw thou not thine hand from him, for he that dreadeth God is not negligent of anything. Wisdom hath comforted a wise man over ten princes of a city. For so no just man is in earth that doeth good and sinneth not. But also, if thou not thine heart to all wordes that be inside, lest peraventura thou hear the servant cursing thee. For the conscience a word that also thou hast cursed oft other men. 
he assayed all things in wisdom he said he shall be mad with and it yed a way further from me much more than it was and the depth is he who shall find it he compassed all things in my soul to conne and behold and seek wisdom and reason and to knower the wickedness of a fool and the error of unprudent men and he found a woman bitterer than death which is the snare of hunters and her heart is a net and her hondas ben bondes he that pleaseth god shall escape here but he that is a sinner shall be taken of here lo he found this sighed ecclesiastes on and other that he should find reason which me soul seeketh yet and he found not he found o oh, man of a thousand he found not a woman of alle he found this only that god made a man richtful and he meddled himself with questions without number who oh, is such as a wise man and who knoweth the exponing of a word the wisdom of a man sheeneth in his chair and the mightiest shall change his face End of chapter 7Chapter 8 of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Giessen. He kept the mouth of the king and the commandments and swearings of God. Hast thou not to go away from his face, and dwell thou not in evil work? for he shall do all thing that he will and his word is full of power and no man my sire to him we doest thou so he that kept the commandment of god in this leaf shall not fail anything of evil the heart of a wise man understandeth tim and answer tim and sezun is to each work and mich torment is of a man for he knoweth not things passed and he may not know be any messenger things to coming it is not in the power of man to forbid the spirit neither he hath power in the day of death neither he is suffered to have rest when the battle neigheth neither wickedness shall serve a wicked man he beheld all these things and he yaf min herte in all works that been done under the sun some team a man is lord of a man to his evil he seek wicked men buried which when they lived and yet weren in holy place and they weren prized in the city as men of just works but also this is vanity for so for the sentence is not brought for soon against evil men the soonness of men done evils with certain any dread nevertheless of that that a sinner doeth evil an hundred seethes and is suffered be patience eke know that god shall be to men dreading god that reverence in his face god be not to the wicked man neither his dyers be mad long but pass they as shadow that dread not the face of the lord also another vanity is which is done on earth 
just men ben to which evils cummen as if they didn the workes of wicked men and wicked men ben that ben so secure as if they han the deads of just men but he dem also this most vine therefore he prized gladness that no good was to a man under the sun no but to eat and drink and to be joyful and that he should bear away with himself only this of his travail in the dais of his leaf which god yaf to him under the sun and he set it him in her to know a wisdom and to understand the departing which is turned in earth a man is that be dies and nichts taketh not sleep with ian and he understood that of all the workes of god a man may find no reason of those things that ben done under the sun and inasmuch as he travaileth more to seek be so much he shall find less yea though a wise man saith that he knoweth he shall not more find End of chapter 8chapter nine of the book of ecclesiastes in the wycliffe translation revision of john purvey thirteen ninety five this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by martin geeson he treated all these things in min heart to understand diligently just men and wise men ben and her work has been in the hand of god and nevertheless a man not whether he is worthy of love or of hatred but all things been kept uncertain into time to coming for all things befallen evenly to a just man and to a wicked man to a good man and to an evil man to a clean man and to an unclean man to a man offering offerings and sacrifices and to a man despising sacrifices as a good man so and a sinner as a forsworn man so and he that greatly sweareth truth this thing is the worst among all things that been done under the sun that the same thing has befallen to all men wherefore and the hertes of the sons of men been filled with malice and despising in her leaf and after these things they shullen be led down to hellis no man is that liveth ever and that hath triste of this thing better is a quick dog than a dead leon for they that liven weeten that they shullen die but dead men knowen nothing more neither han made further for her mind is often to forgetting also the love and hatred and envy perished and together and they han no part in this world and in the work that is done under the sun therefore go thou just man and eat the bread in gladness and drink the wine with joy for the work is pleasant god in each team the clothes be wheat and oil file not from thine head use thou leaf with the weaf which thou lovest in all the dyes of leaf of thine unstableness 
that ben yofen to thee under sun in all the team of the vanite for this is the part in the leaf and travail be which thou travailest under the sun watch thou busily whatever thing thine hand may do for neither work neither reason neither cunning neither wisdom shullen be at hellus whither thou hastest he turned me to another thing and he seeth under sun that renning is not of swift men neither battle is of stronger men neither bread is of wise men neither richesses ben of teachers ne grass is of crafty men but team and hap is in all things a man knoweth not his end but as fishes been taken with an hook and as breeders been taken with a snare so men been taken in evil team when it cometh suddenly on him also he seeth this wisdom under the sun and he prayed it the most a little city and a few men therein a great king came against it and compassed it with palace and he builded strength as be compass and besearching was mad perfit and a poor man and a wees was found therein and he delivered the city be his wisdom and no man be thought afterward on that poor man and he said that wisdom is better than strength who therefore is the wisdom of a poor man despised and his words be not heard the words of wise men be heard in silence more than the cry of a prince among falls end of chapter nine Chapter Ten of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation, Revision of John Purvey, thirteen ninety five. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Geeson. Better is wisdom than armories of battle, and he that sinneth in all thing shall lay many goods fleest that dean lessen the sweatness of ointment little folly at a team is preciouser than wisdom and glory the hurt of a wise man is in his right seed and the hurt of a fall is in his left seed but also a fall going in the way when he is unwise guesseth all the men falls if the spirit of him that hath power steeth on thee for sack thou not the place for hailing shall make greatest sinners to says an evil is which he seeth under the sun and goeth out as be error from the face of the prince a fool set in hich dignity and rich men sit beneath he seeth servants on horses and princes as servants going on the earth he that diggeth a ditch shall fall into it and an edre shall beat him that destrieth an hedge he that beareth over stones shall be tormented in thaw and he that keeteth trays shall be wounded of thaw if iron is folded again and this is not as before but is mad blunt it shall be mad sharp with meech travail and wisdom shall sue after busyness 
if a serpent beateth it beateth in silence he that back beateth privily hath no thing less than it the words of the mouth of a wise man is grass and the lips of an unwise man shouldn't cast him down the beginning of his words is folly and the last thing of his mouth is the worst error a fall multiplieth words a man not what was before him and who my show to him that that shall come after him the travail of fools shall torment him that could not go into the city land war to thee whose king is a child and whose prince is eaten early blessed is the land whose king is noble and whose prince is eaten in her team to sustain the kind and not to wast the heathness of horses shall be mad low in sloths and the hoose shall drop in the fableness of hondes in lying thy disposen bread and wine that thy drinking ate largely and all the things of bayon to money in this thought back beateth thou not the king and in the privity of the bed course do not reach man for the breeders of heaven shullen bear the voice and he that hath penis shall tell the sentence end of chapter ten chapter eleven of the book of ecclesiastes in the wycliffe translation revision of john purvey thirteen ninety five this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by martin geeson send the bread on watres passing forth for after many teams thou shalt find it if thou part seven and also eight for thou wast not what evil shall come on earth if cludes been filled thou shouldn't shed out rain on the earth if a tree falleth down to the south either to the north in whatever place it falleth down there it shall be he that aspeeth the wind soweth not and he that beholdeth the cludes shall never reap as thou knowest not which is the way of the spirit and be what raison bonus ben joined together in the womb of a woman with child so thou knowest not the works of god which is maker of all things early so thee said and thine hand says not in the eventide for thou wast not what shall come forth more this either that and if ever either cometh forth to gidre it shall be the better the licht is sweat and delitable to the eon to say the sun if a man liveth many years and is glad in all days he oweth to have mind of dark team and of many dies and when thou shullen come things past shullen be reprieved of vanity therefore so young man be glad in the youth and the inherit be in god in the dyes of the youth and go thou in the wires of the inherit and in the beholding of the eon and weet so that for all these things god shall bring thee into dome do thou a why ear fro the inherit and remove thou malice fro the flesh 
for we youngs and lust ben vine things end of chapter eleven chapter twelve of the book of ecclesiastes in the wycliffe translation revision of john purvey thirteen ninety five this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by martin geeson have thou meaned on the creature in the dyes of the youngs before that the team of the torment come and the years of the death nigh of which thou shalt say thou please not me have thou meaned on the creature before that the sun bederk and the licht and stairs and the moon and clout turn again after rain when the capers of the house shullen be moved and strongest men shullen tremble and greenest shullen be idle when the number shall be mad less and serous be the holes shullen wax a derk and shullen close the doors in the street in the lowness of voice of a grinder and they shullen rise at the voice of a breed and all the daughters of song shullen wax a deaf and he things shullen dread and shullen bear fair in the way an almond tree shall floor a locust shall be mad fat and capras shall be destroyed for a man shall go into the house of his everlastingness and wilders shullen go about in the street have thou meaned on the creature before that a silvern rope be broken and a golden lass ren again and a water-pot to be out broken on the well and a well be broken to gidra on the cistern and dust turn again into his earth whereof it was and the spirit turn again to god that yaffe it the vanite of vanites said ecclesiastes the vanite of vanites and all things ben vanite and when ecclesiastes was most wees he taught the people and he telled out the things which he did and he sought out wisdom and mad money parables he sought profitable words and he wrote most richtful words and full of truth the words of wise men ben as prickes and as nihilus fastne deb which ben often of o shepherd be the counsels of maestres me son seek thou not more than this non end is to make many books and after thinking is torment of flesh all the way here to gidra the end of speaking dread thou god and keep his hestes that is to say each man god shall bring all the things into doom that been done for each thing done be error whether it be good either evil end of chapter twelve Recording by Martin Geeson in Hazelmere, Surrey. End of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Wycliffe Translation. Revised by John Purvey, 1395.